Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager at Law MacArthur Ford. In this video, we're going to walk around the outside as well as take a look on the inside of this 2017 Ford Explorer Limited. We're going to hopefully give you a good overview of the standard equipment that's on the Explorer Limiteds, as well as any optional packages you can get, as well as any standalone options you might want. So hopefully this will help you out in your research for 2017 Ford Explorer. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about our options under the hood first. You get two different op engine options on these. The standard engine is a 2.3 liter four-cylinder EcoBoost engine, uh, and that's going to get you the best uh, fuel economy for you. Uh, it does have about 280 foot, uh, horsepower and about 310 foot-pound of torque for you. It's going to get, uh, if you got the front-wheel drive model, which is coming front-wheel drive and, and four-wheel drive, the front-wheel drive is going to get you 19 miles in the city and about uh, per gallon and about 27 uh, miles per gallon on the highway. Now with the formal drive model, you're going to get 18 in the city and 25 on the highway. Now you can get the optional uh, 3.5 liter natural aspirated V6 engine. Uh, that one's going to be the best for towing. It's going to allow you to be able to tow up to 5,000 pounds with the optional class three trailer uh, tow hitch and package there for you. Uh, that one's going to get you about 290 uh, horsepower and 255 foot pound of torque and it is going to, gas mileage is going to be just a little lower than the EcoBoost engine. It's going to be, I believe, 17 on the city for the front-wheel drive model and uh, the highway mileage is going to be 24 and on the four-wheel drive model you're going to be 16 and 23. So I'll give you a good idea on the different engines. Now they, both those engines will come with your six-speed select shift transmission for you uh, and like I said you can get that in front-wheel drive or the four-wheel drive model. So a little bit about the engines and what's uh, your optional equipment on the powertrains as well. So uh, starting here at the front for equipment you do have the automatic headlights here for you. I love this the, the lighting here on this. If I unlock it I'll show you uh, it's gonna this right here nice uh, LED lights to go around it nice uh, those are your daytime running light lights for you also comes with fog lights down here I love the grill on these it does have your uh, satin uh, silver finish here uh, with the chrome bars on it so real good look for you as well I think you're gonna like on that and it does have this and uh, the limiteds come standard with your front sensing system with your 180 degree camera so it's positioned right there so you're going to see all, all in front of you and it comes with a split view on your screen that I think you'll like and it even has a washer on here so that way if that gets dirty uh, you can uh, turn that on and it's going to clean that off for you so that's uh, real nice. Uh, now also on this comes the 20 inch alloy wheels so I think you're going to like that nice looking wheel for these limiteds. Now there is a one package I'm going to kind of go over real quickly uh, and that you can get. Now this is what we're looking at here is what's uh, the 308 package that is your standard equipment on your limited. But you can get a mid-level package. It's called the 301A package, I believe, and it comes with some nice technologies. One of those being uh, rain sensing wipers, also auto high beams. So it's going to automatically turn those on when there's not uh, oncoming traffic for you. Uh, so that's a real nice couple of nice features. Also go along with that, you do have your Bliss package. Now the Bliss is your blind spot monitoring system, so it's uh, in your mirror here, it's going to put a little light in the corner if there's someone in your blind spot, as well as when you back up, the cross traffic alert lets you know if there's someone coming from behind and it's not safe to back up. So uh, great technology, I really love it. Uh, I think it's a very a nice safety uh, feature for you. To go along with that package, the Bliss package, you also get the rear safety belt uh, airbags for you as well that come uh, standard on that uh, that, that you'll uh, really come in handy. And auto dimming driver's side mirror here for this exterior mirror. So that's all part of that bliss package that comes with. And that's all, of course, in that upgraded package with your uh, auto high beams and your rain sensing wipers. Uh, to go along with that, uh, a couple other packages we'll get to as we continue to go around the vehicle. Uh, but those are the, some of the main features that, that come with that. So I think you're going to really like. Now on the outside, standard equipment on the other features on the mirror is your power fold mirror, also your turn signal indicator here on the outside, and your security approach lamp that lights up the ground in front of you. And of course, don't forget your power heated mirrors. Now I do have some nice chrome accents on your door handles as well as the rocker molding, and your uh, nice uh, side roof rack uh, rails here for you too uh, that have the chrome accents on it. This one also comes standard with the intelligent access that allows you to be able to, with the keys in your pocket, uh, get in, unlock the vehicle, start it, and then when you get out, lock the vehicle without having to get the keys out of your pocket. And notice the auto fold mirrors as well when you lock it, so that's a real nice feature in those parking lots. It does have your keypad here on the door as well if you want to leave the keys inside, and it even comes with a remote start to go along with all that technology. So, it's a great features here. 
that are uh, standard on the, the limited as well, that, that mid-level package for you. Let's go ahead and move to the back now. I'll show you some of the features on the back that are standard. Now here in the back, you're gonna have standard equipment, of course, rear spoiler back here. Love that look, gives it that sport utility look. Rear defrost with rear wiper. Also nice chrome accent here on the back lift gate with the Explorer uh, etched in it. I really like that. Rear view camera, so you're gonna be able to see behind you as you back up with your reverse sensing. So in case you're not uh, looking in the, the uh, camera there and watching that screen, you're gonna be alerted if you get too close to anything here in the back. Also, your nice dual exhaust back here. And this one does have your tow package. It has the cover on it for you. So that way, uh, when you're not using it, you can uh, put that on there and uh, it looks real nice. Also, power lift gate. So we can go ahead and you can use a remote or you can just press the button back here and it's gonna lift up for you. So a uh, real nice system there. Uh, now, this one does have, of course, the Explorers have your third row seat for you, uh, and you're going to have your powerful uh, third row seat. So uh, what's great about that is you're just going to, these are in the normal mode. You can either decide to flip one side down or the other, or you can do both at the same time. Uh, you just uh, tell it what to do. You go ahead and hit, it, hit that uh, stow mode there for you and it's gonna go ahead and fold those down for you. So that's real nice. That rear independent suspension allows for this to be able to be possible so you have that load, flat load level floor here for you. So, um, and because of that, you get a great ride and you got all the storage where you can fold those seats right into the floor for you and give you that, that, flow, that flat load level for you if you need a little extra cargo room for you. So it comes in real handy. Go ahead and put those back in the normal mode so we have those seats ready to go for us. And let's go ahead and move inside now and show you some of the features on the inside of the vehicle. Now moving to the interior, you do have uh, some uh, leather interior here for you with the nice leather perforated seats because they come with heated and cooled seats here in the front uh, for you and heated seats in the second row for those outbound seats. Uh, now you do have some options on the second row. You can uh, come standard with the 60-40 split bench seat, but you can go for the optional bucket seats with, and you can also get the uh, second row console if you'd like. Uh, so those are some of the options back there. Now, of course, they do have climate control back there uh, for those in the back too, uh, and that's standard equipment. And then uh, these uh, front seats up here, dual power seats that are 10-way here for you with, that are heated and cooled, uh, like I mentioned, and you do have driver memory for three different drivers for you. Now, part of that mid-level 301A package, uh, you can uh, one of the packages that comes with that and probably the most popular uh, for that and, and people selecting that is the multi-contoured seats with the active uh, motion control. So I think you're really gonna like that. Uh, of course, a really nice seat. You're gonna be able to massage your, uh, yourself as you're driving and uh, so 22 way, I think you're really gonna like that. I think it's a 22 way, but it's a multi-contoured seat. So uh, real nice seating configuration that's part of that package. Uh, the other uh, feature real quick, while we just wrap up that package and while we're uh, uh, kind of talking about it, it also comes with the um, uh, lane keeping system that allows you to stay in your lane as you're driving down the highway. Uh, that's a real nice system. It also comes with an enhanced park assist. So what's great about the enhanced park assist is not only it's your parallel park like the, uh, the uh, version before this, but it actually has the perpendicular park as well as your park out system. So that's gonna be a real nice system. It really just parks you uh, any way you need to in the parking lot. It's gonna find your spots as well as uh, take care of all the steering for you. So a uh, real nice system there for you. Uh, and that's all those things that are part of that 301A package. Other standard equipment on all your limiteds, power windows, locks, mirror switches, including auto one touch for those front windows. Also comes with your leather wrap steering wheel for you, heated steering wheel standard on these. Also power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So electronically it's gonna go up and down, forward and back for you, uh, real nice feature. Also power adjustable pedals, it's gonna bring those forward and back. So really in, any size driver can enjoy and, and feel comfortable in this vehicle. I think you're really gonna uh, get, a, get an enjoyment out of that. Now on the left side of the steering wheel is your cruise control and an optional equipment, a standalone option is your adapt, adaptive cruise control if you wanna get that. 
with the collision warning with brake support. So that's going to actually, as you're driving down the highway, it's going to slow you down until uh, you pass them and speed you back up. So that's a nice system if you want as a standalone option. And it does have your Bluetooth and audio controls on the right side of the steering wheel. So, And don't forget your paddle shifters here. If you want to go in that select shift mode, you can uh, use the paddle shifters to uh, shift through those gears. Push button start becomes part of that intelligent access system. Also dual zone auto climate control here for you with the rear climate like I mentioned. Uh, so it's a real nice system and real nice and easy to use. I love how the AC uh, and the heated seats buttons are here instead of on the screen so you don't have to have that opened up if you have your navigation on uh, you don't have to worry about that so it is a new uh, this does come with the Sony audio sound system 12 speakers as well AM FM CD Sirius satellite all standard equipment uh, this and has also come with the sync 3 system standard equipment with the navigation and I think you're really gonna like it it's a lot like your phone so it's pinched to zoom and I do have videos on this and the Enhanced Park Assist on our YouTube channel. You can check that out under the informational videos and the how-to videos and check those out there. Uh, but you'll really like it. Even the settings, you, it's a lot like your phone where you can just uh, go ahead and, and, and swipe. And the 2017 model year also comes with the where you can hook up your um, plug in your Android or your Apple phone and use their, their systems uh, for you to be able to use your phone a lot. It just kind of puts that information up there on the screen of what your phone, you know, making receiving phone calls and texts and such uh, from your phone. So it's a really nice, intuitive, integrated system with the Sync Connect there. I think you're going to like. Also does have auto dimming rear view mirror up here. Uh, garage door openers for three different garage doors and optional equipment you can get the twin panel moonroof like this has in it and of course your four-wheel drive models will also come with your terrain management system uh, this and even also as a standard equipment has ambient lighting lights up your cup holders as well as your foot wells and your door compartment so it's a great equipment I'm kind of talking about the trim uh, in these vehicles it does have your satin uh, chrome finish here on your dash as well as your doors uh, and then the uh, rosewood uh, accent as well to go along with it on your doors and your dash too so I think you're really going to love the finish on this. Great looking vehicle. Don't forget three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on these from the factory. So uh, some great equipment there. If you have any questions, you can call or send us a text message at 785-378-5031. You can call us toll free 1-800-874-6316. And I hope this video really helped you out, give you a good idea of the standard equipment on the, the limited as well as some a different package if you want to go with that upgraded 301A package and some of the standalone options as well. So hopefully this helps you in your research for a new 2017 Ford Explorer.